the emails are out, so I might as well just explain it all. And I've tried my best to get this all together as quickly as possible. Let's look at the voting. You're going to get an email. It's going to have your name, your voting amount, which don't be scared if it's only a dollar. If you put unliquidated like I did, it's going to say a dollar. Mine says a dollar. And it also has your e-ballot ID and PIN. Grab those and then head over to veritaglobal.net slash Fisker. Once you get there on the left-hand side, there'll be a submit e-ballot button. Let's go ahead and click that. Next, you'll be asked to sign in with your PIN and your ID. And now we've made it to the ballot. Item one, the undersigned hereby certifies that as the voting record date, the undersigned was the holder or authorized signatory for a holder of one or more general unsecured claims without regard to any accrued but unpaid interest. My principal amount here is listed as $1, but that's what you get when it's unliquidated. If this item is blank, you'll have to fill it in with the amount from your proof of claim. What you need to know is your class four, which means all the legal stuff, all the tax stuff, all the administrative stuff, and all the secured stuff goes before you. That in mind, the holder of the class four general unsecured claim set forth hereby votes to, you will either accept or reject the plan. I will not tell you what my vote is as I don't want to influence you. This is not legal advice. This is what you're voting for. And really the most important thing here is just to know that once you decide this statement kind of says it all, except as otherwise provided herein as of the effective date for good and valuable consideration, including the obligations of the debtor under this plan and the contributions of the released parties to facilitate and implement this plan on and after the effective date, each released party other than the other directors and officers is and is deemed to be hereby conclusively, absolutely, unconditionally, generally, individually, collectively, irrevocably, and forever released and discharged by the debtors and their estates. This is your resolution to Fisker going bankrupt and doing whatever you think they did to you. That's this resolution. And it kind of locks you out from everything else. On the other hand, if you don't want to do this, you have another option down here below. There is a drop down box after it shows all of the information about how it's all going down. The undersigned holder of the class four general unsecured claim set forth in item one hereby elects to you have the option to opt out of third-party releases contained in Article 12 of the plan, which Article 12 is what I read that little excerpt from. You can take your time to read this entire document. I'll have another video coming up that kind of summarizes what's going on if you want to wait to vote. At least you'll have the option you know to opt out in the event you don't want to do this. October 7th is the date you have to vote by. So with that said, you can either accept the plan, reject the plan, or opt out. There are two kind of weights here. There's a majority as in number of votes. And then there's a monetary weight, which is the number of dollars that voted. Each vote counts for a certain number of dollars. Obviously our unliquidated claims count for $1 and whatever you wrote down or whatever's in your box, that will be what yours count for. But if $800 million of Chase Bank vote one way, that money is going to be towards that part of the plan. So with all that said, make sure you vote by October 7th. And I hope I've made it easy to access the ballot and get it done. Once you finish deciding what you're going to do, you would come down and write your signature and then submit your ballot. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. Subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, smash the like button. Thank you. I could have bought a smaller house, but I thought at the end of the day, it is my decision, and I don't feel guilty about it.